I didn't disappoint you. More creepy dolls coming through. So this one is a Civil War era doll, probably like late 1860s, possibly just as the Civil War ended, maybe a little before that. Um, and she's a widow doll. She's what's known as the Merry Widow. She was most likely made by a German firm called Kessner and sent to America where the Americans would buy these dolls um, and would dress them. And she's wearing um, widow clothes. She's a mourning doll. As you can see, she's wearing all black. I threw the fur around her shoulders because I thought it was cool. But uh, this is her original dress with sequins. I don't know if you could see the detail. The lighting's not very good right now because it's in, you know, I'm taking this indoors. And indoor videos always come out crappy unless you have really good lighting, which I don't. But uh, yeah, here's some detail of the dress. It's like taffeta, I believe. Look at that workmanship, it's amazing. Really, truly amazing. Here's some detail of her face. I believe she's a modified flat top doll, meaning that the tops of her heads at certain times um, of manufacture were flat on top and she has a part down the center. She has little curls that adorn the sides of her face and cascade down. She's a China head doll. This one has a little bit of an open space in between her lips, which Kessner dolls were known for. So I believe she may have been made by the Kessner firm in Germany. But if you see, she's like pretty amazing. I mean, it's creepy to have a doll that someone, you know, had as a mourning doll. Um, but then again, it's amazing to have the original clothing and like all the original undergarments. There's some kind of notation that a previous owner had. Let's see, flat top, Kessner China. I think actually, let's see, they put 1850 to 1870. Like I said, it's probably a mid 1860s to late 1860s doll. Um, I don't know what the heck that is. It looks like it's an original tag that came on the undergarment slip. She has little kid leather boots with little buckles, which is pretty neat. I'm trying to get the detail. Look at that workmanship. She's got little pantaloons. Her body's made out of cloth and her arms and hands are made out of china. These are original. Some of these uh, body parts get replaced over the years because they crack and chip and break. Hers are spoon shaped hands, I believe they call that. But uh, I think she's really amazing. And it's quite interesting to have a doll so old, you know, 100 plus years. I mean, it's amazing. And she, look at her. She looks like she was just made yesterday. I call her the Merry Widow. Cause she looks like she's actually smiling. And who knows, maybe she's glad her husband's dead. Maybe she collected nice big inheritance. And that's why she's the Merry Widow. Who knows? So thanks for watching my video and I'll be posting more creepy antique dolls soon.